Hello, this videotape is intended as a brief introduction to the specialized library services available to life science students. These are within the college and the London area. As with all other college departments, the life science department has its own departmental library. In our case, this is on level four of the Lion Playfair Library behind me. Access to this library is not restricted to members of the life science department. All college members can make use of its facilities. This library has links with other specialized libraries, both inside and outside the college, and we'll be showing you these later on in the program. But first, let's have a look at the Life Science Library. For undergraduates at the start of their course, the most important part of the library is the book stock. You can find here books covering all subjects taught in the departments, including those on recommended textbook lists, as well as more advanced works for those engaged in further research. All books here are classified according to the Universal Decimal Classification, and they are all available for loan, except the books marked Reference Only, which cannot be removed from the library. At the start of each academic year, all teaching staff give the library a list of textbooks required for their course, and we stock as many of these as we can. A copy of these lists are put on the library notice board for your guidance, and we are going to produce individual booklets with this information. These will be available from the Life Sciences Office in the Zoology Department. Recommendations for new books are always welcome, and can be given either to the library staff or written in the file on the New Books table, where recent editions are displayed. Any new books that are suggested by readers are held on reserve for them to look at first. As well as books, we have a stock of periodicals, which are held over here near the books. Most periodicals are available for loan, except those marked for reference only, but they can only be borrowed for a two-week period, a shorter period than for books. Current periodicals and the most recent journals may not be borrowed, and they are kept over here on racks, away from the bound volumes. A list of volumes being bound is also kept here on the display by the current issues. Some serials called Advances in and Annual Reviews of are treated as periodicals, but they are stored separately from the main run of journals. Their location can be found in the index kept by the catalogue, together with details of the holdings of this library, the Lyme Playfair Library, and the rest of Imperial College. Abstracts covering biological subjects are held on this floor, and other subjects are kept on level 3. But you should note that microbiological abstracts are held in the Science Museum Library. These are for reference only, and help in using them can be obtained at the staff desk. It should be borne in mind that this library is a specialized life science library, and so if you're seeking books on other subjects, such as organic chemistry or maths for biologists, then you would be better advised to look on level two. There are subject assistants to help you with any inquiries, or you can look in their catalogues. If you're looking for a place to study, the life science library offers both space and extra facilities. As well as the main study area here, there are a number of individual carrels around the side of the library. Half of these are reserved for six-month bookings by postgraduates, and the other half are available for daily bookings. In both cases, you should ask at the staff counter in order to book a carrel. A word of warning, do not leave any valuables in your carrel, as one key fits all the locks. Whilst some undergraduate courses are in progress at Imperial College, copies of relevant course books are kept here in Study Room K. This enables a large number of students to use the same books. These books cannot be removed from here unless permission has been given to the library by the course lecturer. One problem most people encounter when they go to look for a book is how to find it within the library. The Life Science Library uses the Universal Decimal Classification. This is a numerical system and each number is located on the spine of every book. So, if you want to find a book on a particular topic, by looking in the subject index, you can find the number and thereby follow the numerical order along the shelves. 
For example, if we're looking for a book on the biological applications of electron microscopy, ah, oh, here it is, 57086.3. So, the number we want is 57086.3. 5708, 5708.6.3. And here we can see that all these books are devoted to the subject of electron microscopy. But if you require a particular book, then you must use another part of the index here. On these cards, the following details are listed. The author, the title, publishers and date of publication, the accession number, the decimal classification. But all the information stored in this index system is gradually being transferred to microfiche film, like these. And any one of these microfiche films can be viewed on this display. So, by using either the cards or the microfiche, a wide range of life science material is at your disposal. For finding books on other subjects, you will have to use the main Lion Playfair catalogue on level one. It is possible to have a literature search carried out by computer if you wish to get a list of books available within given terms of reference. The service costs around five pounds and is really of most interest to staff and postgraduates. If you have any problems in trying to find a book, or if you have any queries, then do not be afraid to ask one of the librarians who are very willing to help you. If you wish to borrow a book or periodical, you do this at the main desk on level one. It must be signed out on an issue form available at the desk. The period for borrowing from the Life Science Library is eight to ten weeks, although the loan period for recent journals is only two weeks. Life science students are entitled to use all of the general facilities offered by the Lyon Playfair Library on Level 1. Photocopying facilities are provided by two user-operated machines. There is also a reference section here with encyclopedias, telephone directories, general reference books and dictionaries, although certain specialist dictionaries are to be found on Level 4. In addition to these, there are facilities to reserve books that are out on loan to someone else. You can do this by filling out a reservation form like this one, available at the staff desk on levels 1 and 4. You can also gain access to material from the restricted and special collections in the sociology management section on the other side of level 4. If you wish to consult a book, periodical or thesis not held at Imperial College or a nearby library, there are facilities on levels 1 and 4 to obtain it for you. Before making a request, please make sure that you have checked all other nearby libraries' holdings. The Life Science Library has lists of holdings of all the libraries of Imperial College, as well as the periodical holdings of the Science Museum Library, the Natural History Museum Library and the Science Reference Library. The book stock of the Science Reference Library is available on microfiche on level 1. If you have not been able to find what you are looking for, then please fill out one of the green request forms kept at the staff counter. Please put as many details down as you can and try to ensure that they are accurate. These requests are then sent to the British Lending Library at Boston Spa and will take one to two weeks to process. If we have to try elsewhere, it can take longer. So far, we have looked at the library services available for life science students here in the Lyon Playfair Library. There are many other specialist libraries where you may be able to find suitable literature for your studies. For example, there is the Biochemistry Library, which is housed in the Biochemistry Department building in the same room as the Chemistry Library. Subjects covered in this library include Biochemistry, Microbiology, Molecular Biology and Organic Chemistry. As well as the book stock, they take about a hundred periodicals, which complement those found in the Life Science Library. For Life Science students, these facilities are for reference only, but photocopying facilities are available.
Then there is the Science Reference Library, which is split between two sites and is a part of the British Museum. This site, at Porchester Gardens near Queensway, is of most use to life science students, as it houses the biology and medicine sections. As its name implies, this is a reference library only, but, again, there are photocopying facilities. They also offer a linguistic service, should you need any foreign texts translated. Lists of their holdings are available in the Life Science Library. The Science Museum Library is situated next door to the Lion Playfair Library and has a large collection of periodicals, which are catalogued on microfiche in the Life Science Library. Their book collection is rather patchy on life science subjects, but is always worth a look. Members of staff and postgraduates can obtain books of borrowing forms from the Science Museum Library itself, but undergraduates have to ask the Life Science Library for a form. The library in the Natural History Museum can be very useful to life science students. The library is split into various subject areas, but again the library is only for reference, and there are photocopying facilities. An index to their excellent periodical holdings is held in the Life Science Library. There are also two specialised libraries close to Imperial College that might be of some use to life science students. The Royal Entomological Society has a library in Queensgate and life science students should have no problems in gaining admission, although non-members usually have to be introduced by a fellow. There are limited photocopying facilities. Also in Queensgate is the library of the Commonwealth Institute of Entomology. The stock is mainly periodicals and aims to cover literature on injurious and useful insects and other anthropods of economic interest. Once again, there are photocopying facilities. In addition to these, there are two libraries at the Imperial College Field Station near Ascot. The larger one, Silwood, is mainly concerned with insect ecology, while Ashurst deals with pest control and parasitology. Both libraries lend their stock to people on the station and also provide an interlibrary loan scheme. Both libraries have photocopiers. Their book and periodical holdings are included in the Life Science Library catalogues. There is a van service three times a week between college and the field station and it is fairly easy to borrow material from them and vice versa. So here we have given you some insight into the library facilities available to you as a life science student. And as you can see, they're not merely limited to the departmental holdings. The aim of this program has not been so much a concise guide to the facilities available, but more of an introductory glimpse. And please, when you are seeking information or guidance on a particular subject, then don't hesitate to ask the librarians, who are all too keen to ensure that you get the best possible material available for your studies. And even if they can't find themselves what you want, then they'll only be too willing to point you in the right direction. So, please ask. Goodbye.